Yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video kind of speaking about the Sarah Jane Adventures and ranking. In the in the video itself, I ranked my top five episodes, but then down in the description, I ranked all the episodes of the twenty seven episodes of the show. I ranked them. I ranked them all. Now one, however, there's one episode that. I possibly didn't give it as much credit as it deserved. I've recently started rewatching the show, kind of rewatching it very much, and one particular episode that maybe at the time I just didn't entirely understand it, but now I'm older, I've rewatched it, and it had a lot more emotional weight than I previously gave it credit for. That storyline or episode was the fourth episode or storyline of series two, Mark of the Berserker. In the episode in question, Sarah Jane goes out of town to investigate an alien you know, sighting at a hospital. So Luke goes and stays with Clyde. And the next day, Clyde's dad shows up, who had previously been gone for many years. Cl Clyde ends up showing... T telling his daddy fights aliens, they end up going to Sarah Jane's attic, and Clyde's dad end up ends up finding an alien pendant that Rani had found the previous day, a pendant which will, which anything you tell somebody to do, it will make them do it. On the face of it, I didn't guess at the time. I just kind of saw it as a guy gets possessed to tell. And tell us people what to do, and I didn't think that much of it. But looking back on this episode as an adult, as I said, I found it had a lot more emotional weight to it. I didn't see it so much as a guy gets possessed and tells everybody to do things. I saw it more like I guess how other people saw it that this was actually a very tragic story, and it was kind of built around something that. Quite a lot of people in this world have faced, and that's kind of divorce or separation. The episode, while the alien factor is there, it's mainly about just a father wanting to spend time with his kid, wanting to spend time with his son, whom he hasn't seen for many years. And even in the end, if he had a piece of alien technology that would allow you to could spend time with your kid it it was very understandable everything in this episode while you may look on it as selfish at some point he was doing everything just to spend time with his son and in part two it had a lot more kind of talks especially between Clyde and his dad kind of asking why did you leave me and just we weren't working I know but did you even try those were very heartfelt talks, and even at the end of the episode, he was asking why he had shown up again, told that his new girlfriend was pregnant and he was frightened of the responsibility. That felt very real. Maybe looking back on it, I didn't notice it or I didn't understand it at first, but looking back on it as an adult, I, I got every single one of those emotional highs. I understood everything it was trying to get across. It was somebody who... Frightened of the responsibility in one direction, tries to go back on the past, and tries to kind of make up for some, make up to someone who they haven't seen in a long time. And I guess the as I said, you, as I said repeatedly throughout this video, it deserved a lot more kind of points than I previously gave it credit for. I guess at some point I'll have to kind of re-rank the episodes and see how. F See how much farther Mark of the Berserker makes it back at the list. Because, honestly, this was one of the emotional highs and had a lot more kind of emotional depth than some of the other episodes I probably placed higher. I guess I'll just have to look back and see, see how it ranks. Anyway, see ya.